Hi guys, welcome to Handmade and Beyond. These are uh, pins for the hair, Judah pins or Chinese hair pins or shawl pins. Guess what they're made of? Yes, paint brushes. I've used all paint brushes. A very easy project as long as you have the materials around. Um, embellishments. I'm using a hand drill here. You c these are plastic uh, paint brushes, so I you could also heat them up to make holes at the back. This is a sharpener, pencil sharpener, acrylic paint, a fixative so that the paint doesn't chip out. You could use spray paint as well. The next thing that you need is embellishments, some eye pins, speed caps, flowers, anything that's around to decorate your pins. I'm using a charm that I made this morning. Um, it's a little butterfly with some beads, an eye pin, a bead cap. You also need strong glue. I prefer using Easy 6000. Keeps everything in place. A paintbrush to paint your brushes. Okay, the next step for us is to take the foil off, which I'm doing here. Barely easy. You could always use um, the rest of the foil for uh, clay cutting because you get a nice little tiny circle. Next thing is to sharpen one end, which is the smaller end. Most hairpins or sharpens have a pointed end, so to achieve that, I sharpen it. Simple, yeah? And uh, get a nice point out, something that you think is perfect. And after that, you use your drill, your hand drill, or a pin, a hot pin, and heat it up to make a hole at the back. That's what I'm doing here. I am just drilling a hole. This is where your eye pin is going to go with the embellishment. You could also avoid doing this step if you just want a flat piece. Like I will show in a few uh, minutes from now. So here um, I'm making the hole a little bigger. So next you do is normal paint paint, paint, paint your paint brushes. Once they're painted, you could decorate it. I'm using um, a gold pen, just to just a sample. It won't even be seen in the um, end actually. So you could paint as much as you want and after you finish painting, it's another piece that I made, you just have a fixative and spray it out on uh, to your brush and let it dry. Once it's dry, you're actually almost done. You take your eye pins and uh, your bead cap. You size the pin as much as you want that will enter in the hole. I'm using a whole blob of glue out here. And the bead cap as well as the eye pin, just um, place it in the hole. And uh, add in the charm after this that I showed earlier in uh, the material section so uh, this is how it looks for now and I think I had oopsie moment so I uh, put in a glue in and stuck it back again now this is how uh, is with the dangle the other one that we made the painted one I'm using a flower here that I actually took from my mum's vase. I hope she doesn't see it. Um, and I'm gluing it down to the paintbrush at the end and securing it with one of the petals. And that's all. It's ready. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And give us a thumbs up, like us, share, and give us any feedback you have or any more ideas on how to do things. Thank you for watching. There are a few pictures following up on how this piece looks. Yeah, bye.